the GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 413, Human Activities and the Greenhouse, of greenhouse Gases. So human activity such as the burning of fossil fuels results in the formation of more carbon dioxide, nitrous dioxides and so forth dioxides in the atmosphere with carbon dioxide, nitrous dioxide being the greenhouse gases. So these ones in the upper atmosphere absorb infrared light. So they absorb this gas and they will redistribute the infrared light back towards the surface of the planet. So the burning of fossil fuels from our factories and from vehicles the exhaust emissions and perhaps from the burning of coals in the domestic but so this is less so these days so you've got industrial you've got cars and domestic combustion of fossil fuels. That's one place. Another place to consider for greenhouse gases is farming. Animals in their digestion of crops, so largely we're thinking of cows here, and they emit methane gas to the atmosphere which is considered to be significant um, estimated around about 9% of the atmospheric gases but a significant contributor to the greenhouse effect evaporation of water to form water vapour Clouds are a significant contributor to um, the greenhouse effect. And the fourth greenhouse effect one to consider is on refrigeration, um, solvents, and propellants. This is the chlorofluorocarbons. Uh, so that's a combination of uh, chlorine, carbon, and fluorine, such as in C, Cl, 3, F. These molecules are well associated with the absorption of ultraviolet light and catalyzing the breakdown of the ozone layer. 